Greetings, colleagues. It is a pleasure to have this opportunity to update you on our new UN Global Compact strategic plan for 2021 through to 2023. I'm certain you'll find the new strategy as exciting and inspiring as we all do. As we developed the strategy over the past turbulent months, public trust in business was actually on the increase, according to the most recent Edelman Trust Barometer data. Business can leverage this trust to take actions and decisions that will put us on the right side of history at such a challenging time when people around the world face an eroding social contract, a spiraling climate crisis, and a devastating pandemic. Building on more than 20 years of experience, the 10 principles of the UN Global Compact are incredibly powerful tools for companies to show leadership on sustainability and build even greater trust with customers. But companies must go far beyond words and pledges. We need to see a massive reallocation of private sector resources and priorities to deliver on the 10 principles and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. That means shifting human capital, technology, intellectual property, value chains, financial investments, corporate assets, and strategies. And that is where our new strategy comes in. The key threads and focus areas of the strategy follow. I hope they're useful, meaningful, and inspiring in your outreach to companies of all sizes, in all sectors, in your country or region. Our strategic ambition is to accelerate and scale the global collective impact of business. To do this, we will uphold the 10 principles and deliver on the sustainable development goals through accountable companies and through ecosystems that enable change. By harnessing the global reach of our currently 69 local networks and more than 12,000 participating companies and 3,000 non-business signatories, we will change the way that companies operate, how they affect the environment and biodiversity across their operations and supply chains, how they take ambitious and climate action in support of the Paris Agreement. We will measure our success by the way participants run their businesses, how they reallocate their resources and rethink their strategies to align with the 10 principles and contribute to the SDGs. So how does this all work in practice? First, we need to accelerate our action and ambition on the SDGs, leveraging local know-how to amplify our call for business responsibility and sustainability. Second, we have to take full advantage of the extraordinary assets at our disposal, starting with you, our local networks, together with all of our participants as co-advocates and co-actors with the global convening power of the United Nations. Third, we cannot underestimate our collective impact. Everybody has a role to play. Every business you work with, no matter how large or small, can make a difference. Fourth, as the Edelman survey has shown, business is seen as a force for positive change. We can leverage that trust to advance our mission. Fifth, we need to ensure that the 10 principles are baked into everything we do, guiding our work on the SDGs. Sixth, we must build on the global consensus that the 2030 Agenda provides the clearest roadmap towards a sustainable future for all, as agreed by all of the UN's 193 member states. Seventh, we need to motivate companies to fully embrace sustainable practices and guide the business community towards new ways of working. And eighth, crucially, we must foster new ecosystems, enabling the kind of transformation that is needed to create a sustainable, viable business culture for all. To meet our ambition, the new UN Global Compact strategy focuses on five strategic shifts. The first shift is towards more accountable companies. We aim to demonstrate clearly that UN Global Compact participants are responsible businesses. By demonstrating adherence to the 10 principles, they make more of a contribution to the SDGs than non-participants. In addition, an enhanced communication on progress, our key reporting tool, will help companies track their sustainability journeys more thoroughly. It will give us a stronger aggregate view of the private sector contributions to the SDGs. This adds value for other United Nations entities by making participation in the Global Compact a more meaningful foundation for corporate partnerships. 
UN partners understand that our participants are accountable and transparent in their commitment to UN values. The second shift is the expansion of our local and regional networks. To mobilize business at scale around the world, we must grow our footprint, and particularly in the global south. This involves strengthening existing local networks, establishing new ones, and building regional networks with broader coverage. To grow, we will need closer collaboration with the UN at the regional and country levels, deepening our relationships with UN resident coordinator officers and country teams. Also on deck is a refreshed Africa strategy based on emerging growth drivers, such as the African continental free trade area, regional economic integration, and the African Union's 2063 agenda. The third shift is for a more measurable impact in our priority issue areas, which I will outline in more detail shortly. The fourth shift involves collective action by small and medium-sized enterprises, which already comprise more than half of all of the UN Global Compact participants. Each one of them can be instrumental in delivering on the SDGs in developing and emerging economies, and particularly in Africa. Our strategy calls for a targeted and cross-cutting program that uses digital tools and value chains to help these companies embrace responsible, sustainable business practices. Youth, women and girls will be core constituencies in this strategic shift. It'll also complement the exciting work of the existing COVID-19 private sector global facility, our partnership initiative for sustainable recovery from the pandemic with special attention to small and medium enterprises. The fifth and final shift is towards enhanced engagement across the UN system. Our new strategy can succeed only if the Global Compact presents a clear value proposition to our UN partners. To that end, we will collaborate more actively with UN partners, especially those offices and agencies that are the custodians of the conventions and frameworks that underlie our 10 principles on human rights, labor, the environment, and anti-corruption. We will also review and revise existing memorandum of understanding with our UN partners to better align the new strategy. And we will forge new alliances where there's untapped potential for mutual benefit and impact, for example, in mobilizing sustainable finance. As we know, the 10 principles inform the fundamental drivers of corporate responsibility. Our new strategy also prioritizes five issue areas in which the UN Global Compact seeks to lead and shape business action and impact. These areas include gender equality, focusing on a wide range of business continuum and into supply chains as well. We are also giving priority to decent work and economic growth, climate action, including action to curb biodiversity loss, peace, justice, and strong institutions, and finally, partnerships to advance the SDGs. In other thematic areas, beyond those where we can directly lead and shape, our optimal role may be collaboration and cooperation. And in these areas, we will follow the lead and amplify the messages of others, leveraging our network and our platforms to encourage business sustainability. As we implement the five strategic shifts and focus on our priority areas, we will also assess the collective impact of UN Global Compact participants through five critical metrics. Specifically, we will measure the number of participants who commit to the goals of the Paris Agreement, the number of participants who publicly support human rights and labor rights, the number of participants who demonstrate gender parity throughout their organizations, the number of participants who fight against corruption and bribery, and the number of participants who take tangible steps to help achieve the SDGs. The UN Global Compact strategy envisions its own framework for success. At the top of that framework, our strategic ambition is driven by two main threads, accountable companies, that is businesses committed to the 10 principles, and enabling ecosystems, meaning global and local networks that encourage and support collective action on the 10 principles and the sustainable development goals. Engagement is vital for both of these threads. We need to engage with businesses of all sizes, as well as other stakeholders such as the UN, governments, civil society, academia, labor, and industry associations. Collective action is also central to our vision. 
It is the best way to leverage the unique strengths and comparative advantages that the UN Global Compact brings to the table. And finally, our new strategic framework is built on a strong foundation of internal capabilities, which we will strengthen to empower effective local networks like yours. Under this strategy, we will need to refine our resourcing model, establish robust digital platforms, curate new content and create new tools for action. And we will confirm our progress with interoperable standards, reporting and data. To implement our new strategy, we have developed a roadmap composed of 12 work streams and 30 initiatives. Action on these work streams is already well underway. They cover a variety of topics, from program priorities and delivery models to global operations, including our local networks. To make change happen, to meet our organizational needs and improve our work processes, we are concentrating on participant engagement, strategic partnerships, digital transformation, project management, and more. A member of the UN Global Compact executive management team is leading each work stream with a cross-functional contingent of staff, including a representative from the local networks. And each work stream will be informed by broad consultations with the Global Network Council, local networks, and other stakeholders. Secretary General Antonio Guterres, the chair of the UN Global Compact Board, has enthusiastically endorsed our new strategy he sums up our offer to companies in your local networks in this way. The United Nations Global Compact is uniquely positioned to help you on your journey to a sustainable and inclusive future. The 10 principles of the Compact offer a blueprint for businesses seeking to be part of the collective effort to build back stronger from the global pandemic. And now is the time to scale up your contributions to the 2030 Agenda and the implementation of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change.